Welcome back everyone, this is part 3 on how to make a jug edit on Premiere Pro and today I'm going to be showing you how to color grade. There are two ways you can do this, so you can either use Lumetri Color, which doesn't require any plugins, it's within Premiere Pro itself. In fact, I might as well go through it, so I'm going to add it directly onto my clip. You could use it on an adjustment layer, which is probably the smarter solution, but I'm going to do it anyway, directly onto the clip, head into effects controls. Now, the thing is with jug edits, there is no specific way it should look, unlike vibe style edits, which often look nostalgic, grainy, flat colors. So honestly, depending on your song and the vibe that you're trying to go for, play around with the basic correction, the create, is it creative? I don't think this is, no, that's not the right one. The basic correction and the curves, as well as the color wheels and match. So for this one, I could go for like a, reddish or orange environment so maybe it's the shadows that i move i don't really know which one it is i'm not the best at color grading but as you can see i'm changing up these shadows for a reddish look and i can drag this slider here up or down if i drag it down there's more contrast now it looks more evil so we can do it before and after before after small changes like this can make such a big difference uh, we can go even further with curves i could go for an s curve for no particular reason just why not see what works in fact i will get rid of this bit at the top and instead lift this one higher so yeah that looks really interesting actually before after if you're going to be using something else like magic bullet looks so i'm just going to hide this for now and i'm going to search up magic bullet this one here it's similar to lumetri color but there are a few more effects for example there is optical diffusion which gives it this nice soft glowy look so before after i could increase the glow actually that's a bit too much i think so let's go for maybe 0.7 why not add some color rista and do exactly what i did with lumetri color so was it the shadows i don't remember why it changed i think it was the mid-tones so i could go for like a reddish or orange vibe i don't really know i think the shadows are actually the better option so yeah looks kind of cool why not add some chromatic aberration which is basically rgb split so before and after with these settings here so negative 0.5 negative 0.2 and plus 0.5 so you can see there is a very subtle rgb split before after one really cool effect is clarity this helps bring out the detail which i think looks pretty cool on a jug edit so i'm going to increase this you can see it looks much sharper you could say that it looks terrible, but I think that's the point. It's supposed to look deep fried. So yeah, I'm going to leave it around 40 and click apply. So let's do a comparison before and after. As I always say, just keep experimenting because there is no specific way a edit should look. If you like it and you think it works, then stick to it. Next, we're going to be learning how to make transitions. Time for the advanced stuff. 